Today, we're gonna see if I can make a McDonald's style cheeseburger that's better, cheaper, and faster than the Golden Arches. Oh, and of course, we're gonna make it vegan too. And spoiler alert, we're making a Big Mac as well. Now, obviously we can make this better. That's not a question, but how about cheaper? Currently, this cheeseburger costs $2.59 where I live. So let's break down the basic architecture of a McDonald's cheeseburger. We got a couple pickle slices, some raw onions, mustard, ketchup, a burger patty that is a mere 1.6 ounces, what? a slice of American cheese, all on a white bun. The most expensive part of that burger, vegan or not, is the cheese and meat. Now, naturally, we could make our own burger patty and cheese with easy to find ingredients. It would be even cheaper. In fact, I have a couple recipes for homemade burger patties in my new cookbook, link in the description. But since I wanna make these as fast as possible, I'm gonna rely on some pre-made vegan meats and cheeses. So let's go to the store to see what we can find. But before we go to the store, I want to acknowledge that I live near Los Angeles and I'm totally spoiled for choice here. I understand that vegan meat is isn't as affordable or accessible in other parts of the world, but my hope is that as plant-based meats continue to drop in price, that it will become more of a possibility for more people as well. In any case, my curiosity was piqued, so I had to find out. So I went to a bunch of different stores. I went to Grocery Outlet, Whole Foods, Sprouts, Costco, Target, Walmart, Ralph's, Costco, and Trader Joe's to compare the prices. For the meat, I looked at Impossible and Beyond, and I'll be breaking down the prices per ounce for my metric friends, that's about 30 grams. Now, as expected, the prices were less at places like Grocery Outlet, Walmart, and Costco. In fact, at Costco, they had two pounds of Impossible for $11.59, which comes out to 36 cents an ounce. I actually saw them the week before, and they were going for $8, which comes out to 25 cents an ounce. That's actually less than most animal beef, so it'd be amazing if we could get these prices everywhere. Beyond was on sale at Sprouts for 37 cents a pound, but normally it's 65 cents. As you can see, the prices vary a bit, but after crunching the numbers, both Beyond and Impossible average out to about 50 cents per ounce where I am, which is actually about how much organic free-range beef costs. Imagine how cheap vegan meat would be if we got subsidies for it, but that's a whole other video. Next, let's talk cheese. My personal favorite is this So Delicious American, which costs $5.50 or 50 55 cents a slice. Not the cheapest I know, but worth it for my budget. And then stuff like VO Life is pricier, but in general, vegan cheeses in my area run between 50 and 60 cents per slice. And I can find a bigger selection at places like Ralph's slash Kroger, Whole Foods, and Sprouts. There's also some store brands that run about $4 as well. And now vegan cheese is a contentious topic and we could even spend an entire video talking about it. But for now, let's move on to the buns. One of the most common questions I get is about where to get vegan buns. The good news is most commercial buns in the US are accidentally plant-based. I always check the ingredients, but for the most part, you won't find any milk, eggs, or honey, except in things like brioche, Hawaiian, or honey wheat. There are other ingredients that may or may not be vegan, and you can usually write the manufacturer to find out, but obviously buy whatever you are most comfortable with. I'll leave a link in the description for more info if you are interested. In general though, places like Sprouts and Whole Foods have buns that are more expensive and places like Walmart and Grocery Outlet have cheaper buns, which is not exactly a surprise. For instance, these buns at Whole Foods are some of my favorite for these little cheeseburgers and they are even labeled vegan on the back. They do run $3 however, so that's 37 cents a bun. And these white buns from Ralph slash Kroger and Walmart are half the price, so about 18 cents per bun. And honestly, they are a bit squishier like the McDonald's buns, so I'm gonna go with them. Now for the pickles, you can get a jar of these absolutely awful pickles for $1.89, or you can splurge to get something like these Grillos for $5. According to the serving sizes, you get about 40 pickle slices in the Grillos, which comes out to 12 cents a slice. And for the Kroger ones, you get 88 slices and they cost two cents a slice. I do love Grillos, but if we are staying in budget, I'm gonna go with the Kroger pickles, which incidentally taste better on these kinds of burgers too. I don't know why, but they do. And now of course, mustard and ketchup is relatively cheap and we're just gonna be using a bit of chopped onion so that shouldn't cost too much either. I think we are in good shape to get it under budget. But we also gotta make this faster than McDonald's, so let's see what time it is, 9.20. I'll start a timer from when I leave my house, I'll hop in my car and drive down the street. Now, of course, I'm not gonna order a cheeseburger on account of my vegan situation, so instead, I'll get the only vegan item that's worth a damn, their apple pie. So let's go through the drive-through, order my pies, and then we're gonna come on home and we'll see where the timer is at. Looks like it's just under 12 minutes and now it's 9.33 because I took too long to switch over. So real quick, I remember people loving these apple pies, but I found them to be kind of lifeless and dry. To be honest, you're much better off making the recipe in my book. 
All right, now that we have our budget of 259 and our time limit of 12 minutes, let's see if I can make something better, faster, and cheaper. So I'll set my timer and away I go. And yes, I know I'm a ding dong and didn't make sure that the timer was in the frame. It's not a trick. In fact, if it makes you feel better, I tested this out before filming and was able to do it in seven minutes. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is preheat my pan and then I'm gonna give it a spritz of cooking spray. And then we're gonna add the buns to the pan to toast them. And then next I'm gonna weigh out my burger patty, a whole 1.6 ounces. And then I'll chop up an onion and get my mise en place, mise en place, I don't know. Uh, my pickles, ketchup and mustard. And then I'll talk to the camera even though I won't use the audio. And then next we're gonna add the burger patty, season that with a little bit of salt and pepper if you wanna. And then when the buns are toasted, I usually add them to a wire rack so they don't steam. But I saw this little trick so I thought I'd use it and it seemed to work. Next, I'll flip the burger, add some cheese, cover to steam to melt, of course, as always, and then a minute or so later, our burger is done. So now we just gotta assemble and get our bottom bun, our burger patty with cheese, pickles, onions, mustard, some ketchup, and now this is our total for the cost and our total for the time. I'll admit, it's not a huge difference. However, this thing was way better, and remember, it's also vegan. You know what else is vegan? This Big Mac. First, let's make our Big Mac sauce. So get some vegan mayo, which I know is expensive as well, some ketchup, mustard, sweet relish, onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, and white vinegar. So I do a bit of that, and don't forget the drippy drips. Then some lettuce, our cheeseburger, some onions, a middle bun, more sauce, lettuce, pickles, second cheeseburger, onions again, more sauce, and then our top bun. And this vegan Big Mac cost me this much versus the McDonald's Big Mac, which costs $6.09 where I am. And I didn't time it exactly, but it took me around 12 minutes to throw this together. So maybe not faster, but definitely better and cheaper in my book. Speaking of my book, I know I sound like a broken record, but I have a recipe for a Big Mac in my new cookbook as well. And if you wanna make some other McDonald's recipes right now, I have a bunch more in this playlist, which you should totally check out. And until then, I'll see you all next time.